I'm back from Belgium. Let's ride some bikes. Good afternoon and welcome to today's video. I'm heading to the park. Well, I'm in the park actually. I just didn't film anything on the ride over. I'm meeting Chris. We're going for an easy spin and it will be definitely less than 107 kilometers, which he rode every day for 107 days. <sighs> Sun's out, guns out. Just stopped because uh, I've got these new shoes and I have to move my cleats back a bit. They're really uncomfortable. Probably says that I need a bike fit, doesn't it? Bike fit is one of the most important things when it comes to riding a bike, really. If you're gonna invest in a thousand pound set of wheels, then why not spend 200 pounds on a bike fit to get even more performance gain? Wobbly Tim is a good example. If you go back and watch uh, the first video we made with him, he's all over the place and he was just wasting loads of energy while we were on that ride. Back when I was racing, I was pretty obsessed with getting everything to the millimetre on my bike. And uh, since coming back, well, it's just been a bit of a shit show. I sort of just guessed. I have had a couple of knee problems and I think it's about time that I start getting things sorted properly because we have really upped the mileage recently. And as I start bringing in some intensity, now the challenge is over, it'll be worth it to prevent injury. I actually have this bike set up and my Cinelli to exactly the same as when I was racing. But that was when I was fit and flexible. I've changed a lot in two years. So it's probably not right anymore. Yes. So what, shall I come meet you at Chiswick Bridge? Yes, you meet me at Chiswick Bridge and I'll be very fast to get ready. Cool man, because you're really fast at getting ready. I'm really fast. Alright, hurry up, like stop speaking to me. to me then. Go, go, go. Okay. Bye. Okay, see you in a bit, ciao. Hey. I can't shake a hand, man. How's it going? Oh, how's it going, man? Good. Good to see you. Yeah, it's been ages. 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 Look, this is where the um, finish of the boat race was. Just Ooh. Sunday. Look, see? No, sorry, man. I don't know anything about boat racing, just bikes. Boats. It is cool. Nice kit. What do you think? You know what? I'm actually come round to it. I've actually like come it? round to it. Is it? Is it growing on you? Yeah. I wouldn't wear it, but... Uh, I'm wearing I'm a bit more than you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, topic of the video today is the importance of bike fit. Bike fit? My, yeah. It's very important to get a bike fit, basically. You know, obviously France has got a very aggressive position here. Uh, <laughs> like, not fitted at all. Is it not fitted at all? No. Well, it's my old race date. It's my old fit date. From when I was, like, flexible. Do you know what? I just put my saddle down about almost a centimetre. That's a Lauren special bike fit. Yeah. 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 By feel. Self-diagnosed bike. Fit. <laughs> no, it feels what? better. It feels better now. Yeah. Maybe what you're going for? A bit of a bit of a flare. Yeah. You've got a flare in your head now. Woo! Very nice. Our laces are they're really annoying. Because I really like laces. Just sometimes when you're a bit late, it's a bit like a bit of a rush. Uh, you're always late. Though. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that was my that was my jumper. That I flipped it to Gan. Did you like it? Oh, it was you. Yeah, it was me. It looked a bit women's lead, to be honest. Yeah. It's the kind of jumpers I wear. I always get caught this light. What, this oh, level crossing? Yeah. I remember. Always, always, always waiting here. How many hours of your life have you spent waiting here? Oh, like three hours a week. <laughs> Not even joking. Why does this guy recognise me in the street? He's yeah. another adoring fan. We was just talking Jim. about you. I'm not here a fan, are. no. Because then I, I just sound like a beg. <laughs> He's not a fan. He's not a fan. He's not a fan. Um, when are we going for a ride? Don't know, man. Whenever you want. What are we doing on the weekend? Uh, I'm busy like the whole weekend. <laughs> going to Bre Belgium. Not Monday, potentially. Monday? I'm on holiday, so oh, I've got well. all the time in the world. Because oh, I don't work. Okay. Yeah, match the colour of your kit. Do you like it? Yeah, I think because freckles take up about 90% of your face. So. <laughs> I'm impressed with your sock length, but they're like normal length socks and you're just a midget. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to the park? Yeah, we're going. To the park. Yeah. Choppers. Good to see you anyway. In you're missing you're missing a few parts though. You need a frame. Yeah. Group you set. Know. What do you think of the gym? He's a small little legend. That was Jim, he's pretty wicked. He is a very, very little bike racer who uh basically doing what we were doing a few years ago, isn't he? Except he doesn't train. Are He'd be you? good if he trained. I don't think you were riding when you were his age. No, probably not. How old is he? Oh, small. That's a I try to behave as I ought to, but I never quite succeed. If I fill you with illusions, but only make. Fit
This is beautiful light. You know, there's definite light. I mean, since I started filming stuff, my bike rides are a hell of a lot less productive because you keep stopping and looking for, well, nice scenery. Whereas when we were racing, you know for a fact that you didn't actually take in any of the scenery we were in. No, like not, Calpe, none. beautiful place. Can't even remember what it looks like. Oh. Right, Lawrence. Yo. The next 20 seconds are yours. Oh God. Oh, wait, what do, yeah. My YouTube channel, I started January, middle of January. Um, got eight vlogs up, just getting into it. I kind of learned myself. You can follow the story throughout, kind of uh, self-taught myself with some guidance. Um, but yeah, no, getting into vlogging and vlogging as much as I can. So check it out. I'm sure Francis will be kind enough to put the link in the bio. But and you're uh, a pro and you go to loads of good races and stuff, yeah? Yeah, so yeah, just like traveling to races, doing a bit of Vampos stuff. Uh, That's 20 seconds this, done. Lots of this cafe riding. <laughs> Subscribe. Don't lie, it's mainly mainly cafe riding, isn't it? Mainly cafe <laughs> riding. Well, Chris is actually on the way now. Uh, he has a big surprise for us, which I'm really looking forward to. Does he? Yeah. You're going to stay. And we've kept it a secret for the last week and we've had it for a week. Oh, come on. Yeah. You can't keep me in suspense like that. <laughs> but it takes him about an hour to ride in, doesn't it? And I hope we have some daylight because otherwise you won't be able to see the thing. Hey, oh, look who it is. Look who it is. Have to be. Showing themselves <laughs> in a glorious environment like this. <laughs> Mate, it's nice light, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. How are you, Simone Lamoni? It's the Serengeti. Welcome to the video. Hello, hi. No, it's Missed beautiful, you, isn't it? I haven't seen you since Calpe. Ah, I'm here. I oh, know. And you're on your bike. Yeah, this I know. It's <laughs> insane. <laughs> it's totally I absolute. Said, oh, you're in full. Man. You're in full kit. Yeah, I, I, I thought I'd take the opportunity to. <laughs> oh, you raced. Fully. Uh, no, I know I didn't race. No, I was gonna race tonight at Fellow Park, but I kind of thought. Is there a race on tonight? Yeah, I kind of thought. Nah, Box Hill reps. And you're well lazy as well. Do, are we ruining these people's date over there? I'm gonna be at Roehampton Gate in about five, no more than ten minutes. Okay, I'll ride down to the gate and, and meet you. Alright, mate, do it. Do it a bit, bye. Bye. Oh. oh, there he is. I can't hear you. <laughs> I can hear you now. Look at you. Oh, What's going on here? Hello, sir. I, I just said 40 seconds ago. I bet he's gonna be about 40 seconds. Did you? Isn't she a beaut? Oh my god, yeah. I'll talk about you. Run us down, what is it? Nice bike. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you know. It's a Focus is Alco Max, the ETAP version. I was gonna say, you've already got one of those. But this is the ETAP one. <laughs> it's their uh, lightest road bike they do, which doesn't make any difference for me because I'm a fat bastard. But um, it weighs six, six and a half bags, less than six and a half bags of sugar. Um, Depends how big the bags are though. 6.4 kilos. So it's full insane. <laughs> insane. Zip finishing kit on it. Some crazy DT Swiss. I, I don't even know really know what the wheels are, but they're pretty rapid. And uh, thank God you got rid of disc brakes. It's all black and you white. You could have had an accident, man. I could have died. The worst bit, I think, are those white hubs. They are not going to be white. For How they're pipped here, they are. This is a nice bike. So we kept nice. Is it? You're going to clean it in your in your bath. Yeah, right. Standard. With you in it as well. All right, mate. Yeah, I felt a bit crap the other day, just a bit like, mm. a bit flat. A bit flat. I felt a bit flat for a few days, but the sun's out today, so makes a big difference, doesn't it? You got all the time in the world. Does it feel like weird? Yeah, fucking weird. Like really weird. I woke up this morning at like when I'd get up to go and ride because my body's just an autopilot to wake up, and uh, I was like, what do I Why do? Why am I awake? Why am I awake? <laughs> Let's go back to bed. Fuck it. So I went back to sleep. I don't think it's really hit home. I don't think it will for a week. Exactly a week, that's very exact. Maybe a week on one day, I don't know. Oh, it's look at his little face. Look how that kit is. Do you like it? We were saying it grows on you earlier. Is it growing? Hey man, look at me, I'm in black and white. Yeah, it's like a rhubarb. I'm raspberry, the opposite. Rhubarb and cream. I'm not looking at you in it, but I personally would never wear it. I think you rock it. Somehow you pull it off, I think it's your fluff colour. There's Ant again. Alright Ant. 
Alright. Okay. Alright. After Ant's poor show in Belgium, he's back on form. And he's joined Kings and Willis. And he's joined Kings, he's left Ripcore. Cre they're creepy then. <laughs> they're my, mm. my uh, kinky kinky gloves. For kinky kinky time. You're gonna fist bump me with them now. Right, I'm now home. I had to smash it back uh, to get home before it really went dark. Whew, just about made it. I did not have any high-end fitness. I'm steaming up.